First of all, Delhi in itself is a representation of each individual. There are no two Delis alike. You cannot copy them. You cannot make two identical places. It, it is an absolutely individual, unique situation in every... That's, that's why there's not so many of them. That's why they... Eventually, when the owner tries to retire, they go out of business, and nobody takes them over. A lot of cases. Sometimes they do, but uh, most Jewish people, they try to send their kids to school for, you know, doctors, lawyers, or somebody else. And that's the, the, the soul of the deli is being lost because of that. Because, you know, we were brought up on this stuff. Not maybe exactly on this. I'm from Lvov. Lvov is a city on the west side of Ukraine. And uh, it's a beautiful city. It's over 700 years old. It's gorgeous. But uh, as a kid, I grew up. They used to beat me up constantly. Constantly. Hey, you dirty Jew. Hey, you this. Hey, you that. You know. They constantly used to harass me. Detroit has one of the best meats. And also we have one of the best water here. So we have a very good bread. I've t tasted bread everywhere so far. We have by far one of the best breads because you gotta mix flour and water and we have very pure water around Great Lakes. But even though, the, I mean, having said that, in Chicago, the guy in one of the largest delis that I went to, he didn't have a good bread. I don't know, it's just not like ours. You know, if a person comes in and he wants to become a customer, we'll schmooze him enough where he comes back. It's, it's a combination of a lot of things because we, we just don't serve food here. We talk politics, we talk economy, we talk whatever, sports. He, see, he's a new customer. I know Dave for two months. And he came in here with his daughter, and the daughter was asking him about certain things. So I bought it into his, their conversation like I was a part of a family. He loved it. You know, before, people used to laugh and yell and scream and everything. You know, it was like a one big, huge family. Now everybody's sort of more quiet. Because they have thoughts, they have other things. And they eat quick. My God, they sat down two minutes later. I said, you're done? Yeah, I'm done. I got to go. Whatever. People come here, if let's say a guy is leaving town, say a guy leaving town, for whatever the reason, he'll come back here and says, this is my last time, I'm leaving. And that honors me. That makes me feel like he's a part of my business. You know, because maybe I don't know his name, but I know him by face. And he says this to me, so that it means I'm not McDonald's. I'm something more than just another place to eat. We all have an American dream.